is the winter of our discontent made glorious summer by this son of York and all the clouds that lowered upon our house in the deep bosom of the ocean buried. Now are our brows bound with victorious wreaths, our bruised arms hung up for monuments, our stern alarums changed to merry meetings, our dreadful marches to delightful measures. Grim visaged war has smoothed his wrinkled front and now instead of mounting barbered steeds to fright the souls of fearful adversaries he capers nimbly in a lady's chamber to the lascivious pleasing of a loop. But I, <clears throat> that am not shaped for sportive tricks, nor made to court an amorous looking glass, I that am rudely stamped and want love's majesty to strut before a wanton, humbling nymph. I that am curtailed of this fair proportion, cheated of feature by dissembling nature, deformed, unfinished, sent before my time into this breathing world scarce half made up, and that's so lamely and unfashionable that dogs bark at me as I hold by them. Why I in this weak piping time of peace have no delight to pass away the time except to spy my shadow in the sun and descant on mine own deformity. And therefore, <clears throat> since I cannot prove a lover to entertain these well-spoken days, I am determined to prove a villain and hate the idle pleasures of these days. Plots have I laid, inductions dangerous, by drunken prophecies, libels and dreams, to set my brother Clarence and the King in deadly hate the one against the other. And if King Edward be as true and just as I am subtle, false and uh, treacherous, this day should Clarence be closely mewed up about a prophecy which says that G of Edward's heirs the murderer shall be. Dive thoughts down to my soul. Here Clarence comes. Dee dum dee dum dee dum dee dum. Dee dum dee dum dee dum dee dum dee dum. Dee dum dee dum dee dum dee dum. Dee dum. Brother, good day. What means this armed guard that waits upon your grace? 